also have one uh, one risk that if you're looking, if somebody more experienced is writing, is writing something, this person is probably skipping a lot of uh, complexities that the person already know or just going uh, straightly forward to the solution because, well, the person already know how to do that and doesn't struggle about that. And if they show you a, you know, a big project on screen, you probably won't be able to grasp the entire context just by watching the video. Uh, although I, I think it's a nice format if you want to give some quick overview of, of some code or if you want someone to, to see how, how to do something exactly, like refactor something or what comes to my mind is live coding on presentations. That's quite a nice format because you, it, it is like five or ten minute presentations of but it's a different format that can be useful. But what I don't like is you know, like a video course that I, I open and I see there's 24 hours of video watching ahead of me. And I, I am already bored. I didn't even start. <laughs> and I know there will be lots of filler content in there. And yeah, that doesn't make me want to learn. Yeah. So what are the solutions here? i probably build something. <laughs> oh, no. I need to get my hands dirty. <laughs> touch the keyboard and implement stuff. That's so bad. Yeah, it's, it's basically what we mentioned about this this iteration while learning from, from a book. Uh, until you start fighting the obstacles, struggling with, to make it work, you probably won't, won't learn, learn much. And probably the hard part here is figuring out what to build, right? Because again, you can you can pick up a tutor- tutorial and build some easy application, some trivial application, but it, it won't teach you much. So you have to pick up something that's a bit more advanced and that probably will test you a bit. I mean, test your skills 